So what is your uh, innovation, sir? Uh, see, basically our innovation is a uh, uh, platform, hardware platform, which is a uh, which is based on uh, technology called DPCC, which is uh, disseminated parallel control computing technology, wherein we use dual processors and uh, we use uh, in them in real time parallel activity. So it increases the performance of the hardware processing capacity up to 10x com compared to all the other industry standard. Using this product, we have come out with another, uh, using this platform, we have come out with a product called uh, Autopilot. This Autopilot is uh, basically converts any existing vehicles, uh, be it a ground vehicle, be it an aerial vehicle or be it an unmanned vehicle, it, it converts it into an unmanned vehicle. So using that unmanned vehicle's uh, capabilities, we have come out with a micro category drone which is a which is a uh, basically a uh, 1.3 kg all up to weight having a endurance of uh, uh, 25 minutes and uh, uh, it can uh, fly up to 1.2 kilometers altitude and it has a range of uh, 1.5 kilometers so we can control the drone up to 1.5 kilometers which can be used for short range surveillance purposes which can be used for training purposes and which can be used for uh, aerial vehicle target practice purposes these are the various applications which we have these are the three products we are in the display other than that we have many other products like you know using the same autopilot we are controlling a uh, unmanned tank which is you know uh, arjun battle tank uh, existing battle tank converted into unmanned vehicle uh, using this auto -pilot. So this technology is inducted or is still uh, your pitching? It is already, it, it is actually, it has uh, field trials and uh, uh, initial things have been cleared. Uh, now they are uh, into uh, uh, pilot uh, testing of 100, uh, for 100 tanks they are uh, awarding the, uh, coming out with the tender wherein we are supposed to participate and uh, since it is completely our own design and the thing, so it will... So you would be offering it to uh, Air Force, Indian Navy and... Uh, we will be offering Air it Force in a different uh, thing. Uh, no, in, uh, not only this, uh, this is a uh, situational awareness system which we have developed and given it to the Army for the tanks. So we will be uh, offering, we have been offer, working with uh, various HAL, NAL and uh, uh, ASL uh, and all other DRDO labs wherein so we are, you know, uh, pitching our uh, uh, autopilot system to control their various other uh, uh, requirements, which so can be. Uh, does it has developed. potential uh, to be upgraded from drone to fighter pilot, fighter planes? Yes, I mean that is what actually we have been uh, we have been using it uh, uh, with uh, uh, micro category drone to up to 150 kg capability of uh, octocopter, which is you know tethered uh, thing, which can run 24 hours bar 7 which can work on a tethered uh, powered uh, ground uh, power and uh, it can do surveillance and even up to helicopters also we are trying to integrate it and make the existing helicopter into unmanned vehicle. So what kind of challenges you see? Uh, is it uh, the challenge of uh, super superconductor here in India or? Uh, Yes, in a way, uh, semiconductor, uh, uh, all the semiconductors are being currently imported and already now I think in Mysore or somewhere it is already one fab unit is coming up. So we are planning to, you know, uh, design this entire module into a chip, entire module into a chip, fabri fabricate it into a chip and then miniaturize it and use it for uh, uh, nano and uh, other smaller range of drones which can be used for large units etc. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, sir.